Equip the frying pan. Uh, give her the ribbon. Alright, there we go. Look at that, we have a party member. We'll get for a new episode when we get back to Tucson. Bird oh, that's a lot of crows. That's a lot of crows! <laughs>Chloe is tired and miserable because she ate a flaming hot Cheeto. Oh, look at that. We get her picture taken here. It's the rabbi again. Stop taking pictures of my dog in that. <laughs> pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. You're going to have to send me the picture. Okay, get ready for an instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready? Say fuzzy pickles. Huh? Chloe is so tired of this shit. <laughs> It'll always bring back the fondest of memories. Off I go! Uh... Status? Look at that! She's level one! <laughs> Suck my dick, game. <laughs> oh, good lord. Remember when this was how it fancy places with ATMs were? I know, right? It Where it was like, its own separate room? It's own little fucking... <laughs> Yeah, good news is I have a lot of money. I haven't, uh, I haven't gotten a lot of money in a while. Yeah, that's oh, a good yeah. amount of money. Fourteen hundred dollars. It's not bad for a kid. Are you kidding me? <laughs> well, your dad is just giving you a fuckload of money because he feels bad. He, he's giving me money instead of love, just like my actual dad, except without the the money. <laughs> 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 okay. Um. Yes. Yeah, so let's go. Let's go heal our friend. If you fucking just pass out outside somewhere from fighting a bear. And end up at the hospital unconscious. I'm sure your dad will come. <laughs> oh, I'm sure he will. I'm sure he'll, be able, he'll take care of me into the hospital. Yeah, exactly. The problem is I'm just not doing a lot of bear fighting these days. It's crazy. Yeah, you should probably fight some bears. What's wrong with you? I know, right? I mean, it certainly would probably go a long way. <laughs> Look, this guy brought a fucking... Huh? He brought a bear to the, uh... To the race yesterday. But why, though? Huh? I don't know. Huh? He could. I guess it's fair. If it's not explicitly written down that you can't bring a bear somewhere, I guess you could bring a bear anywhere. Look at this. That sure that that bear. sure looks like a dog. <laughs> looks like a bear to me. <laughs> That's fair. <laughs> Giant, <laughs> huge fucking bastard of an animal. Okay. It's kind of hard to see from the picture, but it's one of those like huge Saint Bernard size. Yeah, things. I got I got the idea of that here. Oh, let's go ahead and put an actual physical save on here real quick. <laughs> Not even close to uh, on point with this. It's fine. <laughs> All right, I can get my PP back. Okay, I'm just burning money here. But that's okay. Now, I, now I need to get actual healing items again, though, too. Oh no, there was a drugstore in the town there. I could I could go to that drugstore there. Let's go do. Let's make our way there and go to the drugstore. Okay, walking back, walking back. Hi, hey, Chloe. Good puppy. Hmm? <laughs> okay. I wonder if there's a safe spot at the drugstore. There probably isn't. Because <laughs> I don't want it to keep coming back here every time. Because <laughs> I'd just be fucking miserable. <laughs> safe spot at the drugstore. Oh, you know what? Actually, I think we can go to the bus station and we can get back to Happy Happy Village. I think that's the case. It is so wild, <laughs> playing a game set in, like, the modern era. Uh, as opposed to- because it's got all of the standard, like, oh, yeah. stuff in it, but it's just, you know, skinned differently. <laughs> well, it's like, it's- yeah, exactly, but also, like, like, there's not a lot of games still like this today, really. Yeah, it's, uh, there's really not. It, it, it does- it has a nice little like, charm to it. Where's our, like, fucking massive open-world Skyrim Red Dead style games? Right? <laughs> That's not GTA. That's right. I'm a bus driver. For now, I'm resting. Life is long. Take it easy, chubs. Why don't you check out our town map and learn about this area? Well, so much for that idea. I guess I'm walking it here, ladies and gentlemen. I'm walking here. Unless... Who are you talking to? You gotta check the bus stop. Ness, check the bus schedule. It looks like the next bus will come pretty soon. 
There we go. Hey, <laughs> it backed up. Yep, this is the bus to three, but I'm not sure we can get there or not. Uh, okay, so he won't get us there. <laughs> First, I think it's better if you don't go. I'm also not real confident about getting there. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so we can use the bus to go to three, but, uh, yeah. That only costs four dollars. Oh, look, you brought her back to her. Oh, yeah, well, let's, 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 let's return her home and do complete that quest, I guess, then. <laughs> Even though we still gotta go get the sound, uh, component here. Hmm? Uh, there's a special kid wearing the helmet, uh, as there always is in every school. Uh, oh, Sky. Ness, thank you so much. You must be the boy who will save the world like in Sky's dream. Sky, I'm sure you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. <laughs> yeah. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves. In three, the next town will meet another friend. If the three of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Goodbye, Sky. Don't worry, I won't cry anymore. He sort of seems like he's gonna cry. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. That's completing that quest. Not really a quest, more just a thing. But we still need to go... Huh? Yeah. Oh, hi, bro. Hello, Ness. Everdred is looking for you. He's got something for you. Uh... Uh, do you remember Everdred? He jumped down from his roof and attacked us. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go see Everdred here. Uh, let's go back through this, uh, multi-cultured, uh, parking shop area here. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, let's see here. Oh, this guy. Yeah. Uh, you did him last time. How did I do it? I don't remember. <laughs> I was gonna ask you to be my partner. Perfect. But I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. If you accept it, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Huh? Let me give this to you. It's ten thousand dollars. Oh, great. <laughs> Use the money anyway you like. Shut up and like. take my money! You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now I plan on looking for the evil Manny Manny statue that Lyrex aggregate. Agger, agger, I don't remember. Unearth and own it. I'll see you at another time in another space. Didn't you already see that statue? Uh... Statue? Well, there's one, yeah. So I got a wad of bills. Not actually money I can use, mind you. Uh, it's just a wad of bills. <laughs> Not actually ten thousand dollars. Yeah. Can you? Wad of bills. A bundle of brand new crisp bills. <laughs> yeah. Can't convert this into money or. No, I, no, I can't. <laughs> uh, I think I think it's a quest item I can give to somebody here, but uh, yeah, for right now, not really That's anything. Amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, so let's go back to the let's go back to Happy Happy Village and see if there's a save spot in there that I just missed. And. <laughs> All right, back in this dungeon here then. Okay, so then, unfortunately we don't have the teddy bear anymore, but Paul's at a higher level, so I don't need to just defend with her, presumably. Watch as she auto dies yeah, again. Yeah, right, <laughs> just immediately back. Yeah, walls. yeah, watch as that happens. <laughs> uh, what is recover? Uh, recover? Oh, that's recovery magic. We don't, she doesn't have any recovery magic. Oh, okay. She has prey, which is like that. <laughs> Prayed with her whole heart. She's the I recovered net. I recovered nine and three AF, a, HP respectively. <laughs> she's still a cultist. She sure. Well, she's never a cultist. She was kidnapped by oh, cultists. No. no, she. You're, you're not wrong in that she's been. Uh, was it Patty Hearst? She, no. she has Patty Hearst syndrome now. It's crazy. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> All right. Uh, but yeah, we should we should be fine to get through here then now presumably. That's what they want us to think. Presumably. And I gotta start the clock again here. Oh, there we go. It started. Okay, there we go. Starting our, our particular clock here. Speaking of clock, I... Like speaking of clocks, I just started listening to Death Clock again. I don't remember why they got back in my feed for some reason. You listen to things? I do occasionally listen to music, and... Well, I, I think having you... I, I will say having YouTube Premium has changed how I consume stuff now because I don't watch television. I just listen to like really like uh, like a bunch of like not documentaries effectively, but kind of that on YouTube. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. and also occasionally music and stuff too. Uh, oh yeah, did they ever kill YouTube Red and just fold it into YouTube Premium? I think they kind of did. That's what they ended up doing, but I don't know for certain. That's probably I, what they did. I think Red was such a <laughs> it, it is a thing. <laughs> It, it, it sure was a thing. 
<laughs> uh, well, look at that. Oh, uh, uh, that's not great. <laughs> her body solidified. Rough. Well, now she's able to move. Well, she missed a turn, though. Yeah. yeah. I mean, I guess it's fine. I killed one of them immediately, yeah, so. Bash that bat with your bat. Yep. Bo oh, bam! Yeah. <laughs> that's some critical hits for you right there. Yeah. Gotta say, like that. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, no, uh, I started listening to Death Clock music again, because, uh, I- I do think all those songs are inherently fucking funny and also very good. <laughs> Just good they metal. Are, they're both- I don't know who does the music. Well, it's, it's Brandon Small, the writer of the show. Oh, he just- yeah. Yeah, and who plays, like, half the characters on the show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, because I mean, like he would do like music and stuff for home movies when that was on uh, Adult Swim. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Hmm? God, I haven't watched home movies in so long. I, I, I fucking love Coach McGurk. <laughs> Coach McGurk is life. He sure is. I, I just keep remembering the time when he tried to uh, sell swords uh, or try to return swords, but QBC <laughs> wouldn't take them because they could treat the swords as cutlery. <laughs> That's such a good fucking bit. Oh, goodness. But yeah, no, apparently, despite everything being fucking taken off HBO Max, apparently the movies are all still good for Venture Brothers and uh, Metalocalypse, although... Because you know what they've been up to, right? Why did, no, what have they been up to? Why did it all get taken down? Uh, so, basically, from what I can tell, to save money, uh, HBO has st removed, like, 200 episodes of Sesame Street, Infinity Train, uh, a whole bunch of, like... Infinity Train? Yeah. No, Infinity Train you cannot legally watch anywhere anymore. What? I, I watched it all already, and it's not getting any more seasons. No, it isn't. But, I mean, Infinity Train's very good. <laughs> Wow. So they're basically burning it all down for the insurance money is basically what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what do you mean to save money? Like so, servers? Well, so it's not only server space, but it's also every time an episode is watched, they have to pay residuals. What? Not a lot of money, <laughs> but you know. So having these properties, having things, their money. having things people want to watch is bad. It's like so, they also did that. They canceled the uh, they they so they literally made ninety percent of the Batwoman movie for HBO Max, and now it just is gone. They oh. wiped it from their servers. <laughs> oh my God! Do they still have? They hosted Steven Universe as well. Uh, Steven mm -hmm. Universe is still there. These sandwiches only do six HP. Fuck these sandwiches. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad I didn't buy any of these sandwiches before. Fuck them. <laughs> um, yeah, Steven Universe is pretty... <laughs> oh, that's got to be one of their more... Wow. Well, yeah, and Adventure Time and stuff, but they canceled yeah. the regular show's uh, guy's show, and also, it's now scrubbed from the internet, so you can't watch it anywhere anymore. Oh my god. <laughs> so it's like, they're literally burning down the entire this thing for the insurance like, money. This is like the apocalypse, the fucking, you know, torrenting people would always talk about well, I mean, when this stuff first started coming up. They were just like, guys, you know, if we move towards this model of fucking... You know, these being beholden to these services, right? They're just gonna take them down because you don't own them, you don't have them. Yeah, they're not on your machine. That's true. And you know what? They're not wrong. Someday they'll just pull it off. That's why the Infinity Guy create train guy is just saying, "Hey, uh, pirate my shit. I'm fine with it." <laughs> it's like, yeah, because it's like you know, like. It's just like, he wants people to see his art. And it's just like, look at all these people who are working on shit. Like, yeah. I don't know if the new Scooby-Doo movie was going to be art. <laughs> it probably wasn't. But a lot of people worked hard on it, and they did all the work for it, and now it's just fucking gone, and no yeah. one will ever see their work. <laughs> yeah, especially more stuff that's kind of like that, that, like, isn't going to have a following where people are going to be seeking it out and downloading it. Dude, yeah. HBO is also, like vicious when it comes to that stuff <laughs> I, I don't know I've always found I've always found a way to lo watch last week tonight uh, the next day <laughs> that's never stopped me <laughs> uh, let's defend because she's low on HP and I want her to live was I she did not live <laughs> uh -oh. there was something that I pulled out in back in grad school and they sent me a cease and desist letter oh you actually got a cease and desist <laughs> yeah well i mean that's because it was kansas and most isps will just just like discard those things rather than like forward them on to you i guess that's fair yeah no i i mean i don't know i've downloaded a lot of shit from vim so i'm very glad people don't know about vim exists <laughs> Wild to me that like Vim exists and it hasn't gotten slammed. Cause like that's website's been around for fucking ever. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like nope, nope, just it looks like it's from the nineties and it but it works. 
Yeah. So. And pull, uh, I don't know, Xenosaga and some other stuff. I was gonna say, yeah, because I got PS2 emulators and stuff, too. Although I have the actual Xenosagas. I don't need them anymore, because I just listened to that podcast where it goes through the end of the game, so. Oh, yeah. Get on that. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I rewatched all of Xenoblade 1 just to prepare myself for if you had any questions about Xenoblade 1. <laughs> I did have lots of questions. You did. <laughs> yep. I, I'm you're, a bit. I'm still at the same spot. But you're, you've made progress at the very least. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Shulk is still a goober. Yeah, you you don't like Shulk currently. <laughs> I don't get what's the big what's the why do people like Shulk? I don't know. Well, it's just, it's, Does it just come together? Uh, I I feel it comes together by the end of the game. You will probably have a different opinion, but okay. it, we'll, we'll, we will certainly see and we'll get your thoughts on it. As long as he's not Cause, cause, to, to get some character growth at some point, or does he just? Stay I, I feel as things start to get. I, I, as you pointed out, the game as it goes on gets more Xeno gears, Xeno Saga, and stuff. Stuff. Yeah. So I feel once the game starts to get more Xeno, I think that's when you're going to start I to hope, be happier. I hope Shulk gets like some really tough moral decisions that come his way and turns him into a gritty badass. I, I don't know if they're going to make him a gritty <laughs> badass. <laughs> he will have some moral decisions. I want him to grow a goatee. <laughs> <laughs> you want evil Shulk is what you want? <laughs> you, you want Shulk to be the mirror mirror version I of Shulk? Mean, <laughs> you know, <laughs> sure. <laughs> I am just like, because so far, the... And yes, the the more political intrigue stuff that's happening with the Angel Town is much more interesting than what's come so far. Cause right, because because you haven't really you just been like these are machines. Machines are evil. They kill things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> to to this point, you haven't really had a good reason to. I mean, other than just the fact that um, <laughs> other than just the fact that your best friend was murdered, <laughs> I mean, uh, in the first yeah, like hour. <laughs> so far, the bad guys and they're starting to hint that it's going to be more than. This, but that the bad guys are just evil for evil's sake. They're, they're just evil. I, I I promise you that it is not the case that they're not evil for evil's sake because that is the thing that ticks me off in RPG more than anything else yeah, is, is a always. is just a mediocre villain. Like there's yeah. th there's nothing that, that's worse than a mediocre villain in an RPG. <laughs> Yeah. That, that's why I don't like Xenoblade X as much as I like the rest of the games oh, no. because well we've we've talked about how uh, we, we we've talked about how I, I feel that uh, Xenoblade X fails on the story and the music. We, we we've talked about <laughs> particularly the, particularly the music, <laughs> <laughs> and that's from the Attack on Titan and Kill the Kill People, and I think the music is shit. <laughs> Because the, the attack on Titan and the kill the kill people made the music for Xenoblade X. Bruh. <laughs> yeah, and I, I love the music in those anime, but it's just ass. <laughs> Mostly because they put rap into a JRPG battle theme. <laughs> yeah, kind of an odd choice. <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's just not great. <laughs> choice. Yeah, kind of a... Uh, good lord, where the fuck do I go? <laughs> oh man, this is, a, this is a dungeon and a half right Yeah, and it's like, can't escape all these bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't want Sky to die. <laughs> they just keep missing and dodging and missing and dodging, and now the bat's dead. I mean, at least this bat it seems to be really good at critical hits. <laughs> That's true. Just smacking them all to death. I was gonna say, yeah, or maybe my luck has just gone up so high that it's just like critical hits happen all the time. Despawn. Hey. Hey, I'll handle two moles. It's fine. <laughs> Got the bear despawn. That's what counts. Yeah. Um, what is the story doing, X? Well, it, it's... Do, I mean, do you really want me to spoil the whole story, or... or? X, yeah, because... Okay. Long, so. Yeah, so, I mean... So, basically, you... The Earth blows up in the first minute, and... Uh, you are being chased by aliens throughout the uh, galaxy until you find a home, but the aliens shoot you down, so you crash land on the planet Mira. And, uh... Some classic Star Ocean. Type yep, stuff. so basically, your leader is... Elma, I'm spoiling Xenoblade X for everybody on stream. I don't care. Uh, it's fine. You're not gonna get much out of the story here. So you you crash land on the planet. Here is a nameless uh, protagonist who doesn't speak. Uh, and basically, your goal is to just 
turn New Los Angeles into a place to survive. That's what it's called. Because uh, you basically build a town there. Because, yeah. New Los Angeles. A, a protagonist that doesn't speak, though? How do you... Yeah. How do you actually tell like stories with protagonists? Well, they. I mean, you kind of you you kind of don't like by that very nature. Elma be kind of comes the main character here. Yeah. So basically, what you find out over time is is that if you die, the reason you die is because you're a doll, effectively. Dolls are basically robots, effectively, that have your consciousness in them. Oh, we're at the star here, so we're we're at the boss then. Um. So basically, they have your consciousness in them, effectively. And so basically, like, but all your bodies are stored in the life hold, which is basically, like, looks like the Xenoblade, uh, whatever the fuck that thing is called. The Zohar. It looks oh, like the Zohar. Of course. Yeah, it looks like the Zohar. But unfortunately, it's landed on Mira, and they don't know where it is. But unfortunately, Mira has a battery limit on it. So once, uh, so they basically have X amount of time to find it until everybody dies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay, and it's and so the the spoil. And meanwhile, there are evil aliens who are trying to kill you, and they don't give you any reason for why they want to kill you. It's not great. Yeah. yeah. But then in the post credit sequence, uh, it turns out the battery had been dead for years, apparently. So it's like, how is everybody alive? Oh no! And we'll never get an answer. You finally got here. This is the second your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me, if you dare. What about da, da So is it my sanctuary or is it the mole? Sanctuary? Look at the look at that Nintendo sanctioned blood on that mole. Can we yeah, just oh say? <laughs> I know, right? It's crazy. Unreal. I know. Okay. Um. So let's I go ahead and use some PK freeze B on him. Huh? You think they would ever let a kid play this game? I know, right? I'd that did no damage and made me very unhappy. <laughs> He's okay. By a psychic shield. Uh, let's see here. Do I try Thunder? Thunder's so inaccurate, though, is the problem. Uh, why don't I use PK Shield on her, just to keep try to keep her alive? Because <laughs> the mole doesn't use psychic attacks, that's why. I guess that's the question, is is it only for psychic? Does it uh, do anything? He tried the psychic shield. Well, he just did it again, so it's like, okay. I guess if you just smack him with a bat. Uh, well, let's use Thunder. She doesn't do a lot of damage with her attacks anyway. Well, she's dead already. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh man. Oh man. He hits <laughs> He sure does. I mean, I think I should still be able to brute force this here potentially. Nope. <laughs> Overhill fucking crit. Nope. <laughs> All right, let's try that again. Uh so yeah, Xenoblade. Yeah, Xenoblade. Yeah, what X. what are your thoughts on X? <laughs> seems fucking weird. I don't know, that just seems like a weird game. Uh it uh I don't know, the whole setup just sounds like Well, it, it's me it's meant to be more of an exploration game is the problem. You are you, were you like building New Los Angeles? Or just yeah, because you're 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 going in there, you're finding and mining resources and stuff. Like, I mean, you're you're exploring the the territory and getting a layout for where you can place, uh, uh, I forget what they're called, development posts, effectively. Yeah. So it's like you're you're doing a bunch of that stuff here. So it's just like, it's a thing, and it's fine. All right. Well, because I know she's gonna die right away, I'm just gonna go all out and just attack. <laughs> That is unfortunate about the aliens thing. Yeah, because I wish the aliens were more interesting. Normally, is the same director? Did he do that? Yeah, yeah, it's the same director, but they they were focus they wanted to focus on doing a story, <laughs> yeah. or they wanted to focus with on a game that like you know, yeah. like because you can go to the end area of the game from the first moment of the game. <laughs> you might die, but you can go there right away. <laughs> that sort of thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a. Uh... Um, cause normally he's pretty good about that stuff in particular, like if somebody's evil, it's because they've got either a big evil plan or circumstances. Oh my god, 70 damage? Uh, I need to grind. <laughs> Was it just saying? Is yeah, just saying I need to grind. <laughs> huh? Not a high enough level or something? Let's see here.
Oh, I can use paralysis. Let me try that. Oh, yeah, let's gold. let's talk that. Let's try that and let's give this a go here. <laughs> I never like to use status on bosses, because how often does status on a boss fucking work? <laughs> yeah, almost never. Yeah. I'd say it's more fun when games allow you to use status effects on bosses, or particular bosses do. Yeah, it, it's more helpful, to be certain. <laughs> huh? Well, the question is, will it work? <laughs> yep, it worked. Okay, so that'll help. <laughs> All right, let's just bash away. Yeah, I need to use PK Fire with her because she can't do any damage. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yep, so I just need to brute force my way through this here, basically. Is what I thought was the case. <laughs> but paralysis helps. <laughs> oh, but yeah, she can't. Yeah, so. <laughs> I guess I'm going to deal two damage with her then, I guess. <laughs> oh, man. Stupid mole. Well, eventually that shield will go away. <laughs> Presumably. Oh, that was a crit. That helps. Crit for 50 fucking four. Well, she does heal for 97. <laughs> uh. But he's not dealing damage to me now, so that's helpful. Yeah. Okay, so yeah, it's just like Pokemon. You paralyze and you can't move. <laughs> Another crit. That's nice. 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 Can't move. Also nice. Nice. Damn, dude. Ness needs to, needs to pick it up here. He's not dealing nearly as much. Damage. I know, right? <laughs> Okay, yeah, we're cheesing our way through this fight here, apparently. <laughs> I mean, this is what it's said to do, so it's like, let's use that. I don't care about your offense going up, you can already one-shot most of us anyway. <laughs> this is crazy how many attacks he's taking. I was gonna say, yeah, he's pretty strong. I guess the other I do think I am still under-leveled, probably, maybe a little bit. <laughs> Uncertain. Please. Yeah, these old games are kind of brutal. It's just like... There we go. We did it. Throws a guy at you. But he didn't land a single hit on me. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Perfect shot. There we go. Level 20. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Levels up. Everything's good. Hey. Life up B. I got even stronger healing now. Isn't that great? <laughs> All right. Well then, okay. So that's the second of our sanctuaries here. Then. So then, these are uh, some steps here. That they are. Yeah. Q credit sequence. I feel like the game is trying to do something story-wise to us. Right it now. is. Yeah. Ness briefly had a vision of a baby in a red cap. That's fucked up. Ness's soundstone recorded the melody of Lily Put Steps. So the first one we went to was Giant Steps, and now this is Lily Put Steps. If that's helpful. <laughs> so, if I touch the soundstone, this is what happens. You get a whole other screen. Yep. Does that melody sound familiar? <laughs> no. Okay, it's yeah. fine. <laughs> Fantasy. But I mean, yeah, yeah like outside of this, is just like, you know, it's just like Final Fantasy 13 hurt us in many different ways. Although Me Super emotionally. It's pretty fun. <laughs> oh, yeah, we'll, we'll do some Mario RPG and stuff too. But I mean, like, you know, just like, no, no, like Final Fantasy 13 was way too many sessions. <laughs> Way too many sessions of nothing happening, particularly towards the end. Oh God, we're being chased by a bear. We are being chased by a bear. What is he holding? Uh, this is, those, are, those are just his claws. No, I think he's got a Chinese finger trap. Oh God! Oh There's God! Oh bears. God! <laughs> That's a lot of bears. That's a lot of bears. <laughs>